Today I'm going to talk about obscene literature and empathy, the magazine The Pearl and the Charles Bernstein experiments. In my second year of university, I took an obscene literature course. We studied Lady Chatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence, Talony or the Reverse of the Metal by supposedly Oscar Wilde and his friends, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, Bear by Marianne Engel. In The Pearl, we read a novel that was told over a series of magazine editions called Lady Poking Half or They All Do It. It was hilarious. It was like a really badly written young adult novel, but with super porny, cheesy things and some pride and prejudice thrown in. When I finished and seen literature, I wrote my final paper on how books like this encourage you to be empathetic, how obscene literature encourages you to be empathetic. It forces us to think, why might somebody find this repulsive? Why is this difficult to read? Is it something in my own prejudices that makes it difficult for me to read? And through that, we become more empathetic people. When we read Lolita, we're absolutely repulsed by Humbert Humbert, yet there's something intriguing about him. Are we normalizing pedophilia? It's also an insight into awareness. It shows us the story of a man who victimizes a young girl. Through that we might be able to find out more and look for more holes in our own lives and be able to target this sort of thing more. Because of obscene literature, I developed a huge love for controversy. The thing that stuck with me after that class was The Pearl. Each issue had a ton of poetry invoked really wonderfully inappropriate things. This poem is from the first edition of The Pearl, it's called The Pleasures of Love. It was of him I so adored, the keeper of my charms, my pride, my lord. By day experiencing each sweet delight, and meeting endless transports every night. When on our downy bed we fondly lay, hitting each other by our amorous play, till nature, yielding to the luscious game, would fierce desire and quench this lust and flame. Oh, oh, then we then joined we in love's most warm embrace, embrace, and pressed soft kisses on every grace. grace. Around, Around my form his pliant limbs entwined, love's seed of bliss to him I then resigned. We pant, we throb, we both convulsive start, heavens, heavens. then what then passion, passion through our fibers dart. dart. We heave, we wriggle, bite, laugh, tremble, sigh, we taste Elysian bliss, we fondle, and we'll die. That was a pretty steamy poem for, you know, 1830 whatever. I will post more and links in the description. Because of my love for obscene literature, I decided that I was going to read The Pearl in weeks. So this is the first week. I wrote a constraint poem using it. I took a line from a nursery rhyme from The Pearl, and then a line from an Ezra Pound poem, Pearl, Ezra, Pearl, Ezra, Pearl, Ezra. And the fourth line of every stanza is a line from the vagina monologue, hair. And I changed all the pronouns in the poem to be she's, and then I took out every single L in the poem, so you won't find an L anywhere in the poem. And I'm going to link to that in the description below. I'm taking a seminar course with Christian Book, who's pretty cool. I'll link to some of his stuff down below as well. In that class, we were given a package with 93, 93 creative writing and poetry experiments. They were all kind of collected by Charles Bernstein. One of our assignments was to write a constraint poem. When we were discussing Charles Bernstein and his experiments in class, I was really interested in the fact that there were so many of them and they're such amazing writing tools that I wanted to use them. So starting on Tuesday, I decided that every day I'm going to do one or two of the poetry exercises until I finish all 93 of them. You can keep up with it on my blog. It's called The Charles Bernstein Experiments Revisited. My second one was a translation of an Ezra Pound poem into Valley Girl language. I did a ton of poetry so far. It's amazing. It's done so much for my writing and it's only like day four. I hope this short little video gave you a little more insight into why I love obscene literature, into my reading The Pearl, as well as The Charles Bernstein Experiments. Thank you so much for listening. What is your favorite obscene book? What's your favorite banned book? What's your favorite inappropriate controversial book? Let me know in the comments. I love obscene books. Leave a comment, subscribe, follow, do whatever. All my information's in the description. Do what you want with it. See ya.